Good afternoon and welcome to another wonderful episode of Mike and Billy's Whiskey Reviews with Mike Winston and And I am Billy. Semi-professional tattoo artist. I am Semi-professional lesbian. <laughs> I'm no one special. So But he does have a nice shirt on. As a part of $14. As a part of our whiskey review series, not only do we give you nice high-end single malt scotches, we also try to give you some whiskeys that are affordable in the United States, shakeable, and just fun to handle. And look at that picture of a house. Why do so many whiskeys and bourbons and scotches have pictures of houses? I think it's a mill. Like actually where it was made at one Where they're time. grinding the burley. The barley. The kern. Yeah. And the spurkin. Perhaps. Okay, you, something I hate about this already. Charcoal filtered. That's like Jack Daniels. We'll get that in a minute. First of all, we want to say thank you again for joining us yes. for another whiskey review. If this is your first whiskey review with us, probably shouldn't be. We literally couldn't do this without you. True, but well, we, if you want to we, do... We actually literally, we could do it. We can do anything we want. With, without. We're United States citizens. But we're we glad can to do have whatever them. we yes. want. Having said that. That's right. We appreciate you joining us for another whiskey review. This is going to be one of our even number series, which is a affordable American whiskey. So if this is your first whiskey review, uh, this might be our greatest one. I don't know. Probably. Um, Probably. Yeah, every time. I got great. great feelings about this. Yeah, I got high expectations myself. Um, but perhaps start out with one of the finer single malt scotches. Anyway, with no further ado, Billy Hill, lead us into what is this week's affordable whiskey from America. As you know, this week is spooky Halloween week where we're doing scary whiskeys and bourbons and scotches. 28th of October 2016, just to give you a frame of reference. We're doing Halloween stuff. How I discovered Ezra Brooks, this is an interesting story by the way, and it's also spooky. Give it to me. I was in Tennessee tattooing at this place. Directly behind the tattoo shop was a field with many and many a goat. Actually fucking goats in the field behind the fucking tattoo. Brown goats, white goats. Every color goat you could imagine. Calico goats. Mixture. There was a barn there. And I was like, have you guys explored the barn yet? And they, they've had this place for six, seven years. The owners? Yes, and the tattoo people. I'm like, have you guys been in the barn yet? Nope. Why the hell not? It could be full of whiskey. This is, I, this, I, this, I swear to God, I swear to you this is a true story. I said it could be full of whiskey and cool shit. Two months later, it's winter time, it snows heavy, which never happens there. Part of the barn collapses the roof and the side blows out. So they go down there and they climb in. It's full of fucking whiskey. I, not though, I can't make this up. You see that bottle right there? That doers behind the blue trophies? We will randomly point Let's, to people and things that you so, will never see and you don't even know exist. They're real though, but. Hand me the bottle. So, Crack it. This is my favorite part. Hold on a second. This is my favorite part. Should we listen? Yeah. Shh. Oh. Give me the first smell, if you would. Oh, that's sweet. That is the sweetness no, no, no. of American bourbon and whiskey it's you just, just like, won't find anywhere else. It's like Tanya Tucker and Kenny Rogers had sex. So. It is so sweet. They go in the barn and they find all this whiskey. I found an entire case of this. Look how old that is. It has the tax stamp over top of it. Dur this is the last one of the case. The day I retire or get rid of this place, I'm fucking getting hammered drunk and smashing it. You mind if I read that? Please. Go ahead. So, there was a there was a bottle in there. I know Ezra Brooks very well. We have been acquainted. This is a doer. Me and the lady. I know, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, white label. So white label. <clears throat> There was, a, there was a bottle of rare Is that a hair? Ezra Brooks Rare Sippin' Whiskey, 12 year. Weird label, it was all white. So I call Ezra Brooks when I get home. And I'm like, hey, I got this bottle in front of me, I don't know what it is, blah, 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 blah. The dude, the guy doesn't believe me. He's like, email me a picture, I email him a picture. He's like, I have never seen this, I've been working for Ezra for over 20 years. He's all. I'll, I'll buy it for you. Right now, I'll buy it for 400 bucks. Not to mention, it has, let me see. Sorry? Not to mention, it has evaporated down to like here. It's cloudy as fuck. It, mm -hmm. The seal must be broken at that point. Oh yeah, it had a cork in it back in the day. Seal must be broken. Ezra Brooks, the only bourbon worthy of a cork, which they don't put corks in anymore. I thought you promised so, the viewers the next whiskey we were gonna I just found this out today, buddy. 
Mike's always getting in my shit. You know? mm -hmm. well, let's, so, let's talk about what the current ever as we drink, we're gonna review. I'm real quick. I gotta finish this story. <laughs> we go to my buddy Hill, my buddy's house. Our our friends of ours are doing a show that night. We all have like three shots because it's you know it's not very much. We're walking down to the show. I start feeling all weird out here. You know what I'm saying? Drunk, maybe. Everyone's like, I feel really good. It was like a scene from Big Trouble in Little China when they're in the elevator. I love that movie. Yes. He chops down the statue at the end. Why? I don't know. Don't know. We go to the show and they sing a spooky Halloween song about me going into a barn to save the Ezra Brooks from the evil demons of fucking Tennessee. You should be a folk. And then, and then, the bass player gave me his guitar. Bang. Anyway. This is your average every day $17 bottle of hip hop it don't stop it 90 proof. I like that. It's charcoal filtered, which Wait I a second. hate. Uh, one more time. Did you say 90 proof? Yeah. 90 proof. That's 45. You know what charcoal filter means? They run it through charcoal. <laughs> yes. So for you who don't know the finer details of it, and you are correct. We're a little bit um, drunk. Super Jack Daniel old number seven. What they'll do is they'll have vats, and then what they'll do is I have a certain tree that essentially they, they they have chips of, and they'll burn that into essentially tree chip, right? Charcoal chips. So it essentially looks like burnt coal, and they'll throw it into a big vat and they'll filter the whiskey through that before they age it. Now I believe in a, in the United States. I hate to say America. Kentucky is not the United States. Kentucky is fucking Kentucky. Kentucky is Kentucky. Kentucky is wild. Our Fabulous neighbor to the south, <coughs> being in Columbus, Ohio. But know that um, in America, if in the United States, if you call it a whiskey or a bourbon, I believe it has to be aged for at least two years, if I'm not mistaken. If someone, if I'm incorrect, that's, that's the best knowledge I have. If I'm incorrect, please someone in the comments tell me that I'm that I'm wrong. But um, over in Scotland and Ireland, I believe you have to age whiskey for at least three years, and in, a, in the United States, you have to. Agent for at least two. I so, keep on saying America. I feel bad America. because America. Well, it's technically, actually America. America. Technically, North America. Technically, if you're in in Canada or Canada. Mexico, Canada. that is still America, yeah. North America. North America. And then you have Central America and South America. So technically, everyone on this side of the world is an American. Technically. But, but I feel like when people say the word American, they think a U.S. citizen, which is technically yeah, a bunch the right. Bullies term. going around stealing everybody's oil. I get it. So, so not us. Ezra Brooks is 216 years old. The distillery has been there that long. Are you serious? You're just making shit up. That's real as fuck. Okay, good. It says it right there. No, I usually do the... Ezra Brooks, 216 years old. Oh, yeah, right. No. Okay, so on the bottle it says simply, since 1800, Ezra Brooks remains Synonymous with the perfect way to cap off the day. Maybe the reason I'm court. Depends on your day. Let me tell you. Let's have a look at this color here. Amen that. Quick. So the Ezra Brooks is she dark? I have no idea if this has caramel colorant to it, but it is a absolutely Depends deep on your, gold it is, color. It, it is a deep and God. Notice the deep. bottle is not shaded green or anything weird. Look at that freaking bottle. In the United God. in the United States, it is very typical to simply give a clear bottle. Well, yeah, because they don't care shelf life, whatever. Well, I don't think. They color it, but I think a lot of times with these American whiskeys and bourbons, what they'll do is they'll age them in bourbon barrels that have never had anything in them before. So they oh, um, brand new, take wasteful, on, very yes. American, wasteful. Yeah. Well, we only use it once usually, and then we send it over to Scotland Frosh. or someplace else. And Frosh bread. They age it for far longer, so we get the, the, the strong. We rip out most of the tans okay. and the wood. Here's my serious question, though. My serious question. Do you even want to do the nose on this? Because I mean, it's. Gonna... I certainly do. We need. We have a format. We have a responsibility to our viewers, Billy. Well, to give people not only the Raven color, got me drunk over here. not only give them the color, <laughs> the viscosity, but also the nose, the smell, the taste, and the score. We give you the six pillars of Mike and Billy's whiskey reviews, which are, quite simply, the color, the legs, the smell, the nose, the taste. Mm. I, I get a lot of score. Uh, I get a lot of I just rototilled the garden and there was broccoli plants left over. So the nose. Oh, very anisey. Very anise. Black licorice. I agreed. Black licorice. 
But there is, there is at the end. Oh, she's loud. Know that, again, in the United States, if you use, for those of you watching overseas, we normally shoot our whiskey quickly, get off our palate immediately, it, or we you mix know it. What's weird? I just invented a new fucking thing. It's like if pepper was sugary. And, tainted, that. and tainted with something. It's like a baby pooped in a basketball after it ate Indian food and then they <laughs> caught it on fire. This That's is not one of the more pleasant noses on uh, this uh, <laughs> we have experienced. Now don't get me wrong, Ezra. Don't maybe, get me wrong, darling. Maybe, maybe, maybe Ezra, first of all, we appreciate you going 90 proof. Which first of is, all, I've drank barrels and barrels of you. I love you. Which is far more than the standard 40% alcohol that's normal. Of, speaking of 90, I'm not going to make it to 90 because of Ezra Brooks. That's real. Ezra. We'll I, I believe some, that's a man's name, Ezra.